Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Annie K again. Just you guys, what's up? Thanks for watching my channel. If you're here, please subscribe if you're back again. Thank you. Um, I'm just showing you guys all my tools here. You can see my brush has the dog bite marks in it. You know, it gives a character. Um, I use this All May TLC cover up. I like to put it in the blush because it really helps it kind of stay longer. And then I also use like a pack powder. That one's just from the dollar store, but it works. It does the job. Um, I have also have organic mind. It really doesn't make a difference to me. This doesn't need that much oil. I tend to use a little bit more just in case I need it. Um, and that way I can put it back. And I also have like, you know, generic dollar store um, eyeshadows. They're like a dark lighter pink um in the you want to kind of get a nice blend because you don't want it to be too oil based that's why we're up in it too so i'm up in here i usually just use the back of my brush to put it in there it's like a little bit powder thing to tell um with my crappy camera but there's that a concealer brush because it blend it well together. Don't mind the background. Down. <laughs> There's that. I'm putting it off. When I put this oil in, I usually take a cap, like I said, because that way you can save not use it. I use the oil for moisturizer. Shaving everything is a lot of money and I really hurt any of it. See, so, yeah, I almost went to pour it right in there. I was like, no, let me... The oil, you can see it in there. Enough to kind of fill it. So now I'm going to mix it up. You kind of like smash it in there and get it all. Try to, that's why I like try to break it up in a powdery almost because it's easier. It's not all clumpy. I, did it, I didn't do it in, well enough this time so it was kind of clumpy to do. But yeah, you kind of just dab that all up in there. Using like an old compact thing, if ever you use it, blush or whatever. You can also use this as eyeshadow too. You can use it as really whatever you want. It's really however you do. So there's that. Dark. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Now I'm going to put the concealer in it to try to give it a little bit of base to it. With just the oil, I'm just saying it's not going to last very long. But I just put that you know, concealer in there just because it helps give it a more makeup kind of feel. Like when you put it on, you kind of, you know you, you know it's going to stay on there for a bit. Because with the oil, it just tends to like wipe off almost. I mean, you can still see that you put something there. But it really just kind of wipes off whatever makeup or foundation you already put on. So it's almost not really worth it to me to put it in without the coverage to it. So there's that I'm showing you there. But it's all really a hit or miss. It all depends on how you wear your makeup, what colors you like. You know, you could add dark, you could add light. In between, it's really up to you. I prefer using the makeup brush. I mean, you could use like a Q-tip or something like that if you didn't really want to get your brush all into it. But to me, it's just easier in the blending and it's kind of more fun. It's a lot softer when it goes on. <laughs> but there's that concealer. I love that concealer. It works so good. I mean, it's not like magical. It's not like obviously high end or anything. I mean, I think it was like $12 and some change at the drugstore. Or the, yeah, it was a Kmart I got it at. But, um, it works. It does its job. I mean, I work all day with it, and, I mean, you could tell I've been wearing, you know, when you know what it looks like when it goes on, that I wore it out all day, but it still stays on. It's still really good makeup. And I like doing it in, like, this kind of, it's like an old compact, it's an old all-made compact uh, eyeshadow or blush or something. But, um, yeah, I just keep it in there because I can reuse it and wipe it out, not wipe it out. It's easy. 
But I put the compact powder in there too because it's, like I said, it gets really like oily almost even with the concealer in there. Even though you know it'll have that like lasting finish, it still kind of is too oily if you know what I mean. So I put this powder, the compact powder, just whatever one you have in there. It really doesn't matter the color of it. it, you know, whatever works for you. Whatever you're feeling that day or whoever, you know. But it works good. See what I mean about the brush? It looks kind of cool. It's like a paintbrush. <laughs> uh, thank you guys if you're watching still. So, like, I can't believe people... Oh, there I go, dropping my camera. That's that's me, I guess. But, yeah, there it is. There's a swatch of it. See what I mean? It kind of blends in to your skin, but it gives you kind of that color still. So I'm just going to show you. See what I mean? It's like a mauve, rosy pink color. If you do it lighter, it goes lighter. Dark, it gets darker. Push a little harder. It rubs in. It blends nicely. So, I mean, it works really good. And it's good for your skin, too, with the organic coconut oil. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Please comment. Let me know what you guys think. Anything's appreciated. Um... We're going to be doing more videos. We're going to be cooking videos. We're going to do makeup videos, other fun videos. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. This is Annie. Talk to you later. Bye.